Welcome to De Beer Without a Doubt. In a departure from my usual videos on the Shakespeare authorship game and the first folio, I will concentrate in this video on some fine art and show how a single miniature has been misidentified for a long time. The portrait on the left has been often identified online and elsewhere as Robert Devereux, the second Earl of Essex, who was execu executed in 1601 for treason. He is not. What I'm going to do is superimpose De Vere's portrait over top of the misidentified portrait with degrees of transparency. Starting at 90%. This is at 80%. 75%, and 50%. You can see that De Vere's eyes, nose, beard, and mouth have not changed one bit. Here he is at 45% transparency. You can see now how the painting beneath fits De Vere's authenticated portrait. Here he is at 40%. Thirty-five percent, and thirty percent. You can see how the paintings have not shifted one bit, and that the portrait beneath shows clearly that it is of Edward de Vere, the 17th Earl of Oxford. And there are even more clues. We'll go back to 100%. The flourishes in the red boxes all match to a specific degree. And they are really number eights. As shown here. Now, 88 in the Latin alphabet repeated count is 4T, or a homophone of 40. Doubling the number gives us 88 for each portrait. And this, in the yellow box, is the hand of his late wife, Anne. Who died in 1588 when both of these portraits were painted. The left-hand portrait was done after she died. since he was wearing black for mourning. And you can also see her hand reaching down to his from heaven. This was done probably before she died, perhaps after. In any event, I believe it was before because mourning would have taken quite a bit of his time. And being an Earl, I guess he would have had to have had a specific number of months morning. This is Robert Devereux. 
the second Earl of Essex, who clearly has darker hair than the other man. Proving that the man on the left is Edward de Vere. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.